All right, so this is Chris with NTH again. I'm still here in Dan's shop. We just shot a video of a Seiko NH35 showing the click spring as the watch is wound, uh, and that would be the source of a clicking noise if you happen to hear it. Um, the keyless works in the Seiko are a bit hidden, so what we have here is a different movement. This is actually a partially disassembled STP. Uh, what we're doing here is we're turning the crown counterclockwise, the non-winding direction, to show the source of what you might hear as a clicking noise. So in a moment here, I'm gonna stop speaking and you may be able to detect the, uh, the clicking noise if it's very, very quiet in here. So this is uh, basically like a castle gear that um, when you spin the, the, the crown counterclockwise, so that, that's clockwise, that's winding mechanism. When you go the opposite direction, this gear is kind of, I guess it has sort of angular teeth on it so it bounces up and down, and that's there, that little lever bounces up and down, and that's the source of the clicking that you would hear uh, in the Seiko movement if you turn it counterclockwise. So here we go. Hopefully the mic on the um, macro camera here is picking that up, but if not, I can assure you that standing here watching Dan do this, I do hear it clicking. It's not incredibly loud. It's not as loud as the clicking going in the clockwise direction on the Seiko, the click spring, but that would be the source of any clicking noise you might hear if you were turning the crown counterclockwise, which is the non-winding direction. So hopefully that explains any clicking noises you hear while you're winding your watch. Again, it's not just a Seiko. It's all automatic movements have these mechanisms to ensure that the, uh, the, the, the winding works properly and um, none of the gears are damaged by turning the crown the wrong way or the, the mainspring doesn't unwind while you're winding it. So that's it. Thanks, guys.